Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and we are working on this is our R75 toaster tank that you saw on our last video. So, I want to show you something. I had to have the fuel tank repainted because it was just a, a cheap spray bomb. And I took this to, his name is Palm Coast Eddie. Eddie in Palm Coast, Eddie's pinstriping. He turned it around in less than 72 hours. I dropped it off Thursday afternoon. He calls me Friday and says, pick it up tomorrow, Saturday. And that's today. That's unheard of. 72 hour turnaround, holy crow. Anyway, so this bike did run, but it wasn't running well. I cleaned, did not rebuild the carburetors, flushed the crud out of the tank and the petcocks. Here, I wanna show you something. The carburetors, these CV carburetors, there's a Here's a new old stock one from a Hercules, Hercules W2000. It's the same carburetor. The only difference is the Hercules doesn't have a right and a left. Here's something else. Denfield foot pegs. Now these look like the wide ones that you can see on some older Zundaps. Here's the Denfield from the Hercules. And do you recognize these? I have cases of these, new old stock. Same here. Now the Hercules gave you better brakes with Gramica, better suspension with Cheriani, but you got that weird motor. This one, this flat twin is like a sewing machine. So we're gonna put this back together. See what it rides like. You know, before I put that on, let's clean some of that aluminum. We do that with WD-40. BMW running now. Looks better with the freshly painted, professionally painted gas tank. Other than that, all we did was clean the carbs, make sure it had clean oil. I looked it up. It's a 1972. Oh, it came with a note. Let me read the note. Okay, I thought I lost it. Anyway, the note says, 1972 R75 black toaster tank. Purchased March 18th, 2002 by the current owner. Well, that's not the current owner now. That's whoever traded it in, I guess. Eurolast 400 watt charging system, Dynajet electronic ignition, halogen headlight conversion, LED taillight bulb, upgraded Hepco Becker luggage lockable. I have that inside with the key. Digital voltmeter USB outlets. That's that thing on the handlebars. Aftermarket seat from Sargent. Engine protection bars, that's those. Euro width handlebars, that's these skinny bars. 
Issues fixes. Ignition switch key did not stay in the pressed position. They put a toggle switch down here. Move to under headlight shell. Stock switch still used for headlight operation. And the tachometer died. Well, not only did it die, the needle broke off. Complete service history available from seller. Well, I don't have the service history because uh, this was traded in at another dealer. It shows mileage exempt on the title. Looks to be 37. Seven. This came out in 1970. It puts out about 50 horsepower, which is actually pretty respectable. 463 pounds wet. A little bit heavier than a Triumph T140. Electric start. That was the first for BMW. Starting here with the slash five. The slash six gave you a single disc front brake. Hit the top of switch. with these drum brakes. We're gonna go out here, remember?
first. So, how many gears does this thing have? So one thing I always forget to do, we're gonna do this as an epilogue. And so I'm gonna tell you what I like and don't like about this. First of all, the brakes suck. I don't like the brakes at all. Oh, am I gonna get more hate mail? Oh, jeez. Now I don't like that it's a four speed. I had to look that up. Yeah, it's a four speed. I would have thought it would have been a five speed, but it's a four speed. Now think of it, in 72, Triumph came out with a five speed. Moto Guzzi had a five speed. Now granted, this bike came out in 1970, but I mean, BMW is a flagship groundbreaking company now, but back then, that little, slow on the trigger so it's only a four speed I don't like that so what do I like about it well 50 horsepower is pretty respectable so drop it into first and it wants to go it wants to take off and I like the way that it handles it handles very well and I like I mean I'm not nuts about the looks a lot of people think this is very pretty but I like that the chrome tank sides are removable. 
that made dressing up this bike a lot easier. And I like that it's electric start. Which, I mean, hmm. The big monkey in the room would have been the Honda CB750 four cylinder, which would have been electric start unit, five speed. I guess they were drum brakes originally. So it's not that, but it's simple and reliable and runs forever. So good and bad. <laughs>